right, today we're going to discuss customary units of liquid volume. You will have a lot of things after today to remember. In the past couple of days, we've done units of length and weight. Today we're discussing liquid volume. And as you go through here, you're going to see what I'm talking about. And if you can look at some things on here, you'll see there's a lot more to these than what we had in the past two days, correct? So lots more things to worry about. It says liquid volume is the measure of the space that a liquid occupies. Some basic units for measuring liquid volume are, are you with me? Gallons, half gallons, quarts, pints, and cups. Okay, the, the bars below model the relationships among some of those units of liquid volume. The largest units are gallons and the smallest units are fluid ounces. How many of you remember the little G that I drew up on the board a couple days ago to show you? Okay, that's going to be another thing for us to use instead of looking at the bars. But right now, since it's in front of us, we're going to use it. Over here in the box, you see that one cup is equal to eight fluid ounces. So there's eight ounces in one a cup. Then you have one pint is equal to two cups. So if I take two cups, I'm going to fill up a pint. And then if I have four cups, I will fill a quart. Okay. And this little chart down here will hopefully show you a little bit more of that. So they're starting with the gallon. Notice that it goes all the way across the top on the first bar. How many half gallons are in a gallon? Because you have two bars split up. Does everybody see that? Then you have how many quarts? Four of them. Okay. And then I have how many pints? Eight of them. How many cups? 16. And then if I go clear down to ounces, what do I have? It's just going to tell you the fluid ounces in one of those cups. So do you see that those two are basically the same? They're split up in the exact same places. Now, any questions that you ask, for instance, if they say how many cups are in a quart, would you be able to do that? Yes or no? So let's say I am a quart, so here is what I would have for a quart, and if I asked how many cups, where would you look? Down below, Down below it at the cups. So how many cups are in a quart? Four. The four that we just talked about up at the top. See how this is going to work? Now, if you like this method and you want to draw out the bars, fine. But to me, the G that we talked about, lots easier, right? Don't have to be even. How many quarts are in here? Do you remember? Four. Four. How many pints are in those? Two. So remember that you're putting them in every one of them, right? And then what's in the pints? And how many? Two. So this is where it's going to be harder to see just because those are not quite as big. Does everybody understand what we drew? Mm -hmm. Okay, so the G stands for gallon. gallon. The Q stands for the P pints. pints, and then the C inside cups. cups. Okay, I don't know about you, but that's a lot easier than the model. But yeah. that's up to you. Okay, and then we need to remember that in each one of those cups we have eight fluid ounces. Okay, so it says, how does the size of a gallon compare to the size of a quart? Okay. Step one is asking you to draw two bars that represent this relationship. One bar should show your gallons and the other bar should show your quarts. Okay, so what am I going to draw then? <coughs> Something like this, right? Okay, so I'm going to make a bar. Doesn't matter how long it is. And what am I going to put in it? One gallon. Now if I look up here at the large one, how many bars am I going to draw underneath the gallon to get quarts? Four is correct, because if you're looking, the gallon covers the whole thing, right? So we need to see how many quarts there are, and I see one, two, three, four. So that means I'm going to draw just the same box, and then I'm just going to divide it up. Don't you think that would be the easiest thing to do? So I'm going to divide in half here, and then in half both sides, and then what am I going to measure these? or put in here as measurements. One quart. And I will let you abbreviate, and the abbreviation for quart is QT. 
That way you don't have to worry about trying to get the whole word for you. Okay, got that drawn? Which probably looks better than mine. Mine's kind of slow. And then let's look at step two. Shade one gallon on one bar and let shade one quart on the other. So you're just going to quickly, and I'm going to do this in a different color so you can tell what I'm doing. Quickly shade. No, cover it up so don't do it so hard that you can't see your one gallon mark. Okay? And then you're going to shade one quart because we're going to compare the two. So just quickly shade it. One gallon and one quart, and then I want you to take a look at it. Compare the size of the gallon to the size of the quart. The gallon is how many times as much as the quart? Four. So you're going to fill that in down here. Four times. I have four quarts to one gallon. Does everybody understand how we got the four? Okay. Page once you have that taken care of. Okay, we're going to compare some more. So if you need to go back and look, that's fine. If you need to think about the gallon picture that I drew with the G, you can think of that too. I kind of call it the gallon man. So if you ever hear me say gallon man, you'll know what I'm talking about. It really doesn't look like a man, that's just what we use. Serena needs to make three gallons of lemonade for the lemonade sale. She has a powder mix that makes 350 fluid ounces of lemonade. How can she decide if she has enough powder mix? So as always, our question is how can she decide if she has enough powder mix? Can someone tell me the numbers that I'm going to need to use in here? Three gallons, 350 fluid ounces. So step one says to use the model on page 457, this one here, and again, like I said, you can think of this one if that's easier for you. We're going to find a relationship between gallons and fluid ounces. Now I want you to look at the chart and see how far away gallons and ounces are from each other. Gallons are where on the chart? On the top, where are the ounces at? So do you see how many things we have to go through to get there? We have to go through quarts and pints and cups, okay? So that's what they did here. One gallon is equal to how many cups? Oops, wrong way. Do we agree with that? Okay. So 16 is what we're writing here. One cup is how many fluid ounces? Okay. Good, you're remembering things. Some of you are going back to look. One gallon is equal to how many cups again? 16. And what they're doing here is they're going to multiply this now by the amount of fluid ounces, which is 8. So one gallon is going to give you... And remember, I don't care that you write this out here. Do I want you to give the right answer? Yeah, and I don't even want to multiply. Sometimes we can't all do it in our head. Okay, do you see the two steps they took? They changed gallons to cups. Okay, and then they went from cups to fluid ounces and multiplied. Yes? Okay. Number two says to make a table that relates your gallons and your fluid ounces. So you're going to think about one gallon being your 128 fluid ounces. So two gallons times 128. We can do some math today at the birthday. What do we get? 456. Not 456. 128 times 256. We'll put it both places. And then you're going to take three gallons times the 128 fluid ounces that we figure. So again, if you need to, write it out here to the side. 384, I will agree with. Now, why did we have to do this chart right here? 
No, it's not because they made you. It's because what are you looking for up there in the problem? Why didn't we just leave the 128 ounces and be done, Morgan? Well, what, how much lemonade does she need? No, that's the powder mix that means she needs 350 for the lemonade. Aha, so she needs the three gallons. So did we find three gallons now? Okay, before we only knew what it was for two, one. And so each time we are going down, we're finding another gallon. So we need to be able to tell me why we're doing so many steps in one problem. You're going to have to do some of these on your own later. So now we're going to compare the information we just got. We're going to compare the 350 fluid ounces of lemonade that she's going to need with the three gallons. So the 350 just moves down, right? And if you want to abbreviate this, they usually put FL and then OZ. Fluid ounces could be abbreviated that way. And then how many do we find for three gallons? You want to go to get or to ounces? So the 384. <coughs> okay, so what do we know about this? Let's read it. 350 fluid ounces is less than 384 fluid ounces. So it says Serena has enough mix to make 350 fluid ounces. She needs to make three gallons of lemonade. So she needed this. Yes? So 350 fluid ounces is, we just said it, less than three gallons. So that means that she does not have enough. So you're going to write, does not have enough mix. She has 350 fluid ounces, fluid ounces and we need 384 fluid ounces. So she's short. Does everybody know and what we did and in what order we did this in? We went from gallons to cups and then from cups to fluid ounces to find out what it was for one gallon. Then we went through the chart and we got to do the three gallons. Once we had that, we just compared them to know whether she had enough. So it seems like a lot of work. It's not as bad as I think it looks. They just spread it out into each part. Okay? Go ahead and turn. You don't have a chance to try some of these. Now, have we seen a box that has this much stuff in it? No, we've seen two and three things in a box in the last couple days, right? So this is why I told you today you're going to have a lot more things to remember. All right, number one, compare the size of a quart to the size of a pint. Use a model to help. And they were nice and they drew it for you. What are you putting in these blanks right here? One pint, because each one of these pints is going to be here to show the difference between that and the quarts. So if I'm looking at one quart and one pint, one quart is how many times as much as a pint? Two times as much as one pint. We're only looking at one. We're looking at the quart versus the pint. Okay? Does everybody understand that? Now, how do they know to do two of these? Can we go back and look at this? I look at a quart, and I look at pints, and you see how many are under here? Two of them. So that's how they need to draw two. So that's something that if you have to draw it, you need to be able to do that. Okay? All right. With your partner, you're going to figure two, three, and four. Guys, there's this big, nice box right here. If you like to use it, fine. If you want to go back and look at this because it's easier, that's okay, too. If you want to think about the G that I drew, then you've got a couple options here. All right, so with your partner, I want you to go through number two, number three, and number four. Please explain to your partner what you did to get the answer so that they know also.